back to Bioinformatics with PV channel. My name is Baba Jan Banganapalli and I'm an associate professor in Bioinformatics. On this channel, we will cover about various Bioinformatics or biological data analysis concepts in genomics, proteomics, transcriptomics, and metabolomics. So if you like this content, please subscribe to our channel. Today we will look on to the protein like and molecular docking using Autodoc 2. So as usual, we are going to start uh, with some basic introduction to the topic. So nowadays, molecular docking has becoming uh, an important tool in uh, drug discovery process. Okay, so most commonly we are uh, studying this molecular docking to check or to investigate uh, the small molecules, the interaction between the small molecules and the protein at an atomic level. Okay. Uh, it will allow us to understand what is the behavior of that uh, particular small molecule when it has been interacted with the, its target protein. And also it is uh, it's give a clear idea for us what is the biochemical, biochemical mechanisms is going on in between the protein and that ligand molecule. Okay. So generally the docking process majorly involves in the two major steps. The one is prediction of ligand conformation. It means it means the its position and orientation uh, in the protein pocket. So the ligand orientation or position in the uh, position in the uh, in the pocket of that particular protein, and also the evaluation or estimation of the binding affinity. These are the two major step, two basic step. Generally, the docking has been processed. Okay, if you take the aim of the molecular docking, it gives a prediction of a ligand receptor complex structure using the computational method so generally this prediction values by the computational uh, computational method it can be achieved by the two major interrelated steps the first first by sampling the conformation of the ligand in the active site of the protein then the ranking of this conformation via scoring function okay so preferably sampling algorithm should be able to reproduce the experimental binding mode and the scoring function should also rank its highest among the all generated confirmations okay you can see here various sampling algorithms has been developed like a matching algorithms incremental construction mcss ludi monte carlo genetic algorithm molecular dynamics these are the oh, mo, these are the most frequently used sampling algorithm if you take the matching algorithm the first one it majorly depends upon the shape of the molecules so generally they use the space feature and the chemical information of the ligand to map into the active site of the protein so you can see here these are the uh, these are the some of the software where they use this uh, matching algorithm in their in their tool they can dog flog lip dog and sand dog these are the tools which are, they are using this match algorithm so you can see the incremental construction so instrument incremental construction also it's the uh, it's slightly different uh, when you compare it with the matching algorithm so it generally insert the ligand into active site in the fragmental or incremental fashion it means each and every ligand has been break down into uh, various pieces before it go for the docking step so here the best example and uh, best uh, tools are uh, they using this incremental construction as a sam sampling algorithm dog 4.1 flex hammer slide and e hits so like this various algorithms has been developed even you can see this uh, monte carlo search algorithm this is also stochastic search algorithm they use monte carlo algorithm use search the confirmation space by modifying the ligand confirmation or population of the ligands randomly okay so this is a old method uh, generally in autodoc uh, older versions they use this uh, monte carlo algorithm but in now in autodoc they are using the genetic algorithm which is uh, be considered that one as a out of the all the uh, except the multi dynamics one except the other tools other algorithm genetic algorithm is uh, one of the best one so generally genetic algorithms uses uh, the darwin theory uh, it's used the idea based on the language of natural genetics and the biological evaluation okay so that's why uh, this is a highly sampling algorithm when we compare with the other algorithms okay the last one the molecular dynamics simulation one a uh, molecular dynamics simulation represents the flexibility of both ligand and uh, uh, protein molecule 
it's uh, it's more effective than other any other algorithms okay but for this molecular dynamics you need to have very high computational facility to perform the both molecule as flexible but if you take the autodog one here in autodog we generally used one molecule as rigid especially the receptor as a rigid molecule and we used uh, ligand as a flexible molecule one flexible and one rigid concept we used in uh, so the scoring function it will determine the pairwise atomic energy that is evaluated by the sum of van der waal uh, hydrogen bond and coulomb energy and dissolution energy okay so it will give you a free energy sorry it will give a binding energy for us based on this we can understand binding interaction between the protein and ligand molecule okay so what are the prerequisites uh, for this molecular docking so we need to have a mgl tools and also uh, autogrid 4 and autodoc 4 uh, files external executable files and we need to have a protein and ligand molecule and the open babel gui tool we have we needed uh, it is helpful for us to convert the pdb file ligand pdb file or sdf uh, format file to pdb qt format file okay so what are the file formats are there what are the common file formats are there in uh, autodoc so here we have uh, nearly seven file formats are there sorry six file formats are there one is pdb protein data bank format file and pdb qt the charge one uh, charge format file and we need to have a grid parameter file grid log file docking uh, parameter file and docking log file you will see in this uh, arrow log so with this uh, we will take an example of crystal structure of protein ligand complex which inhibitor okay so let's start so first we have to go to rcsb the same thing uh, uh, just type uh, the id so i already know this one the id name so just i type the 3dtc and this is the one so click on pdb file so we have to download the pdb file so i'm going to create a, a folder here so i'm going to save this one okay so scroll down you can find here this is the chain a means the protein molecule and uh, here it's also consists of a inhibitor vin and also the sulfate ion also it's there so we want inhibitor just click on this id and you will find the download option file here structure data file in sdf format so now you can copy this information or you can save this information okay so i'm going to copy this information so sdf format file now open the open babel gui okay so here paste this one okay so here uh, you need to select the pdbqt format file okay so here uh, there is a few uh, so many options are available so we need to have a pdbqt format file click on pdbqt format file so here save this one in a uh, same folder like in that pdb save click on convert so automatically it will convert uh, uh, convert this sdf format file to pdbqt by using this book open babel gui tool okay so here you can cross check that one you can see here the file has been saved in a pdbqt format file now you can close this software close this tool so now you can see here these uh, these two are very important files the ligand file and these are the two executive files are must needed for us for docking analysis now let's start not, now now let's prepare the ligand and receptor molecule for the docking analysis okay so go for auto dock First, we need to set a path for this uh, Autodoc tool, Autodoc folder. So, otherwise, the program sometime it will, it will get error for you. Okay. So, it is always preferable to uh, set a path. Go to set a path. So, here go to file, preference, set. Okay. So, where exactly your working space? So, if you click this one, it will show you the working space here. Copy this link. So, here paste the copy the link you have copied okay set make as a default click on dismiss 
now it's time to add the uh, your receptor molecule first so click on rate molecule now we are going to add this uh, pdb structure which we downloaded from rcsb okay so click on this one so here this 3d tc uh, this crystal structure it consists of a water molecule and also some sometime you will find uh, other chains other chains will be there in the crystal structure but here in autodoc you have to remove you have to consider only one chain and also you have to remove the hetero atom uh, we consider that one as other than amino acid we name that one as a hetero atom we have to remove the hetero atom from the protein structure okay so how you can check that one if you click on this uh, this down uh, this arrow if you click on this button you will it will show you a number of chains for you so here we have only one chain fortunately but if you scroll down uh, to the down you will find so many water molecules are there so we have to remove the water molecule and other hetero atom from the protein structure to do this one click on edit here and click on delete water molecule so initially it will delete the water molecule for you still we have uh, other hetero atoms are available you can see here there are sulfur molecule is there and also this other other uh, inhibitor also is there in the structure so we have to remove them click here the two hetero atoms here go to edit delete selected atoms okay so here now hetero atoms has been removed from our list okay so now let us start to prepare this uh, receptor molecule okay first of all we have to check whether any missing atoms are there in the in this protein or not most of the time you will find a missing atom when they are doing the x-ray crystallography so we have to we have to repair those atoms uh, by using the autodoc uh, uh, there are some options are available in autodoc where we can repair the missing atoms uh, in a protein molecule okay so for this you have to go to edges mask missing atoms you can see here there are so many so many nearly 231 residues which is having a missing atoms is there in, in the your protein structure okay we have to repair them all of them select all the residues click on dismiss go to edit again mask repair the missing atoms it will take some time it depends upon the number of amino acids you have maybe it, it will take a uh, three to four minutes uh, to complete the uh, complete the process so once it is done it will show you like this for you so we have to save we have to save as a second sets two sets okay dismiss so unselect this one okay so unselect this one go to edit now we need to add a polar hydrogens to it okay so hydrogen molecules to it go to uh, hydrogens add polar hydrogens to it okay so now we stand to add the charges coleman charges to it so you have to remember you have to always add the coleman charges for the protein molecule so the gas stage charges is for only for the ligand molecule for the protein molecule we have to add the Kalman charges so its charge has been distributed with the 0.2256 charge has been added here so again go to edit charge you have to check whether charge has been distributed equally uh, throughout the protein or not click here check for total uh, residue so you can see here charge has been not distributed equally okay there are three residues are there you have to spread the charge equally by clicking on this one spread the chart deflect overall atom in the residues okay now the charge has been completely deflected click on dismiss one second go to edit cross check that one the charge check for total residues so you have to get this one no residue with the non integral charges were found if you found this one warning it means your charge has been completely distributed now your protein is completely charged okay so now next step is we have to add the, the ligand molecule go to ligand okay you cannot add from the file so you have to add the ligand molecule from the ligand option so ligand here open so this is the ligand which we have saved so once you add the ligand automatically automatically the autodoc will add the charges and uh, hydrogen hydrogen atom hydrogen polar hydrogen atoms to it and it will show you a how many rotatable bonds are there so how many aromatic carbons are there it will show you a whole information for you okay click on okay 
So next step is, so once we loaded the ligand molecule here, so go to ligand, so here torsion tree, detect the root. So it will detect the root of uh, the ligand. So here next step is, we have to check the number of torsions. Okay, you can see here, you have a five number of active torsions are there in your protein. So we have to note down this number when we are uh, when we are applying the parameters in a genetic algorithm. We have to rem remember how many torsions are the ligand molecules. Okay, so click on dismiss. And also one more option is available here for you. Uh, choose a torsion. So if you want to make any bond uh, rotatable or non-rotatable, you have to remember this point. And also you just need to remember this one more one more very important thing here in Autodog. So it uh, consists of only 32 active torsions for you. Okay, it doesn't have more than that one. If it is more than 32 bonds are there, torsion counts are there, it's not going to work out for you. Okay, that's why uh, the Autodog is uh, best for mostly with the small molecule rather than the peptide molecule. So I don't want to make any changes here. Click on done. Okay, so once you've done this one, now the ligand has been added. So now it is also charged everything. Now it start to work with the grid parameters. Now we have to create a grid. Go to grid, macromolecule, okay, choose. So here, select the macromolecules. Now it's time to save this charged molecule, okay. So here, save this one as a receptor.pdb. Now we have a two charge molecules are there. One is receptor and another one is ligand molecule. Okay, so here uh, choose ligand. So here uh, we are going to select the ligand molecule. Okay, and now it's time to set up the grid box. Okay, so this is the grid box where uh, where exactly your docking your docking should be carried out. So there are few options are there for creation of a grid box. If you want to do the blind docking, for example, if it doesn't know the active site amino acids in your protein, so uh, or binding site amino acids in your protein, you have to do the blind docking. Blind docking means it need to cover the grid box should be covered for the whole protein. Okay, how we can increase the grid box? We can simply you can simply maximize this XYZ dimension. If you increase this XYZ dimension, it will cover whole thing for you. Okay. So for blind docking, you have to cover whole protein like this. So if you know if you know the actosite amino acid, then better to go for a, better to identify the actosite region and create the grid box center for that particular region. So here I prefer to use uh, for example, in my case, uh, I already the active site amino acid has been classified. For this, I generally prefer to use 60 dimension value for XYZ values. Okay, so it's already, it's already the active site has been known. For this, I prefer to use this uh, uh, 60. And this uh, uh, spacing should be click on 0 0.5. Okay. So you have just need to click uh, uh, right click. If you click on the right click on that particular scroll, you will you will get pop out this uh, this menu. Okay, there where you can change this one very easily. The next step is uh, here we have to add the X Y Z center. So here there is an option is there. Click on this file. Okay, for example in my case, I already has been known that uh, already uh, I got from my literature that. So these are the four, these are the one, two, three, four amino acids are the uh, active site amino acid or by inhibitor binding amino acid. Okay. So you can see the arginine 230, serine 272, alanine 223 and glutamic acid 221. These are the four amino acid which has been interacting with the inhibitor molecule. So I got this information from main publication. Okay. So I went to this paper. I checked that one identified these are the four active site amino acids are there. So here I need to find out where exactly the location of these active site amino acids. For example here the sites are 221 so 221, 223, 
230 and 272 is to 221. So 121, 223, 230, and 270. Okay, so 270. You can see here, situate this box should cover only that particular region. Okay, so if it is covered in this particular region, you can save these grid options directly. Okay, so one more very accurate option is available. How we can create a grid box means, so manually we can do this one. Manually we can check, we can create a, the grid box if you know the active site I'm asset. For example, so already I told you, uh, so already I know the four active set analysis. So you have to find out X, Y, Z coordinates of this uh, uh, active set asset in the crystal section. We open the crystal section. Okay, so if you open the crystal section, you will find uh, uh, these are the called as a X, Y, Z coordinates of uh, each and every atom of the amino acids. So as I told you, 221, 223, 230, and 270 are the active set amino acid for this protein. So, first of all, I will go to the 221. It's 221. 221. The last atom. Okay. It's 221. The last atom. Okay. So, I'm going to select this last atom. XYZ coordinates. Okay. I'm going to paste this XYZ coordinates here in the Excel sheet. As like here. You can see here for 221 the last atom always you need to remember the last atom of the unknown acids so i pasted the last atom of the amino acid this is the xyz coordinate similarly i pasted the alanine 223 that to amino acid last atom okay so i got all this information from this pdb structure okay you can see here 221 i pasted this one similarly i got a 223 also like this i pasted this one in excel sheet once you pasted this one, first we need to sum this all this one, all this X, Y, Z coordinates of uh, uh, all the four amino acid. You have to sum them, you get a sum value for this one. And you have to divide them, divided by into how many number of amino acids you have. For example, you can see here I have four amino acids here, 114.682 by divided by four. You will get this X, Y, Z exact values of uh, xyz coordinate values you have to paste this exact xyz coordinate values in this box grid box so here i'm going to paste this one okay so x y z If you paste this one, it will it will show it will exactly you can you can see here it will exactly locate or exactly find the location of uh, uh, your active set amino acid. You can see here it's everything has been covered. All the active set amino regions has been covered in uh, inside this box. Now you can you can drug is accurately can bind to this uh, these regions this particular your interested region. If you don't have an active set amino acid my session is always go for the blind docking okay so once you've done this one go to file close saving current so now we uh, created the zip file uh, grid parameter file go to grid okay so output save gpf so here i'm going to name this as one dot gpf grid parameter file okay go to run click on auto grid so click on browse here so click on auto grid 4 gpf file launch okay so you will find this uh, option you will find this uh, format is running for you so once it is done it automatically this uh, this menu will be closed once it is closed it means your docking at g log has been done grid log has been created okay now it's time to start the docking uh, docking parameters 
okay so click on docking micromolecule so we are working on rigid docking so click on search rigid docking receptor select the receptor molecules here okay so here go to again ligand choose ligand so select the ligand here so you have to use the default parameters here okay click on accept so here again go to docking search parameter so here we have to select the uh, genetic algorithm so as i told you previously also about the genetic algorithm uh, program so genetic algorithm is uh, follows the darwin's theory of evolution that is uh, survival of the strongest uh, strongest pattern okay so here uh, genetic algorithm so this is very important here so in genetic algorithms you have to set up you have to set up you have to change these parameters so generally by default it will show you 10 runs for you uh, generally it's preferable to use the uh, 50 runs minimum of uh, 50 runs so for for us for time being i am just running the 10 molecule for you and also population size size should be 300 if you want to get the best docking results minimum you have to run the 50 and you can increase the population size to 300 so you can see here i want to show some something else of also for you you can if you want to set if you want to get the very high accurate result and also as i told you previously you have to remember the number of torsion angles uh, in your drug molecule if your torsion angles is uh, 1 to 10 then you have to use the number of evaluation uh, 25 millions minimum of uh, 250,000 to 25 million uh, uh, in genetic evaluation okay if it is more than uh, greater than 10 torsion angles are there you have to use uh, more than this number and also by default you have to use this uh, uh, GA number of generation 27,000 I just told you you have to consider the 50 GA runs GA runs and population share should be 300 uh, to get a better results in a uh, in a to get a better results in a docking okay so for time being I am just keeping a 10 if you want to change this one you always uh, advise you for publication purpose so you have to use a 30 and 300 here okay so I'm just for uh, adding a 10 and 150 so click on accept so again go to uh, docking so here uh, in output options several options are available so out of them we prefer to use a lamarcan ga it's a hybrid of a local search and also genetic algorithm for us okay so that's why we prefer to use this lamarcan ga so now save this one as 1.dpf save this one okay now uh, have, all the files has been saved now it started uh, time to start the docking okay so click on run here run auto dock actual auto dock here now select the auto dock click on docking parameter file click on launch okay so you have to wait for a few minutes uh, it will take depending upon the number of uh, runs you have given it will take some time for you and also it depends upon the configuration depends upon the number of uh, amino acids you have in your protein structure uh, it will take some time for you at least uh, minimum of uh, it will take 10 to 15 minutes for example if you are running 10 runs it will take uh, at least 10 minutes for us yeah so now we uh, now we finish the docking part let us let's go and check in a folder so now you can see here it's generated a few few major files for you the map file for you the atomic map file for you and also the glg file I mean grid log file and dlg file docking log file so this log docking log file is very important file for us where we can check the binding energies of our protein and ligand molecule open this one okay click search for rmsd rmsd table okay so here you will find rmsd table click on rms table here you can see here uh, our rmsd table you will find the binding energy okay so you can see here there are different cluster different ranks uh, we got it so nearly 10 different uh, 10 different runs we got it 10 different ranks we got it the first one is the first cluster is having a nearly minus 14.17 binding energies are there okay so the first cluster of rank is uh, nearly minus 14.17 kilocalories per mole if you want to search if you want to check the inhibition constant also for this uh, rank you will find at a down 
you will find the ranks also you can see here the cluster 1 plus the rank 1 the minus 14.17 kilocalories and it will show you inhibition constant of uh, uh, in silico uh, predicted inhibition constant of uh, 41.06 uh, uh, pm okay so like this we can identify out of uh, uh, the all the cluster the first rank we got nearly minus 14.17 so let us check this one how we can check the branding energies uh, in a complex okay so first we will remove this all the atoms here okay so click on all atoms here go to analyze docking open okay so here we have to open the dlg format file okay now analyze macromolecule okay open so now it, we need to open the pdb qt format file now we can see here uh, we loaded the protein and ligand molecule go to analyze confirmation play okay so here click on this uh, open panel option so build the hydrogen bonds okay so uh, show information okay so here you can check the first cluster it's showing minus 14.61 the first uh, first cluster the second cluster is also showing the minus 14 you can see here the third cluster which is saying minus 13.4 is showing the interaction with the arginine 230 so you can see a very few amino acids the hydrogen bond uh, the formation is there you can see here the hydrogen bond formation it will show you distance also okay how much distance the hydrogen bonds has been formed for better representation you can click on this uh, stick format and uh, receptor as a uh, cartoon format okay so you can see here there, there is a, a hydrogen bond formation is there and it will show your distance of each and every hydrogen bonds so here i run only a 10 10 runs i run maybe if you run the more than 50 runs you will get the better results with this we completed the docking process Sometimes you, you will find that uh, if you are trying to run from the uh, directly from the auto dock, you will find some uh, you will get some errors in a, in a Python Python shell of uh, the auto dock. So at that time we have one more option is available. So where we can directly run this one by using the Windows command shell. Okay, Windows DOS shell. So go to Windows R, type Windows R here, type CMD. It will open the uh, command shell for you okay so so go to your location where exactly your uh, uh, file is there so here docking okay so now I'm going to write a command here type auto grid 4 okay minus P so here we're going to give one dot gpf okay so minus l one dot glg and add so if you type this command if you type this command automatically the program will run and it will it will generate a, a, the files for you so if you got an error mdl2 script you have to use these commands so for autodoc you have to use the, for other command once you generated all the files for the auto grid so you have to use the same command autodoc 4 minus p one dot dlg okay minus l uh, one dot sorry here dpf docking parameter file uh, one dot dlg output file okay this is a p means input file l means output file so click on and here so type a uh, click on enter so it will it will also take some time for you and it will give you a results for you so this is a trick you have to use if you do if you got an error python script so you have to use this option. So once we save this result, once we save the best energy results, so we have other tools are there where we can open the tools, we can check the uh, various kinds of interactions and also we can represent in different manner uh, then it will go for uh, the publications, okay? So in next video, I will show you uh, how we can represent, uh, how we can represent in, uh, for the publication purpose thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you